Hey guys, this is Puchko Development here, and this is part 2 of my Coco Studio Actions tutorial. If you haven't seen part 1, link will be down in the description. Uh, so now let's begin. In the end of part 1, I wanted to explain how to use how to create a sequence of an action. So sequence is a action, is a list of actions, and actions will be executed in order that they're defined. So here's what we're doing right now. So we've created ID action one, ID action two, and now let's create this third one. I'm not sure which one to create, but there are there are a lot of different actions. Ah, uh, let's cho choose maybe tint CC tint two action. So it is pretty simple. All the, you can see all these actions in the programming guide. The link to the programming guide will be in the part one description. In the part one description, so action three equal to uh, CC fade, uh, CC tint to uh, action with duration. So action with duration will be now. Let's. 7 here, 7 seconds. Red will be... I'm gonna add random numbers. Okay. So how are we gonna execute them? We're supposed to execute them in order. So that's when, when the power of sequence comes. So now let's use a sequence of actions. Sequence is a composition action. Uh, there are different kinds of composition actions. There is also a spawn, spawn action that lets you run several actions at the same time. Uh, there is also a repeat and repeat forever. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a sequence. And if I have time I'm going to show you how to use spawn and repeat. So okay we have three actions and now let's create a sequence. So Cocos it is the name of our sprite. Run action. Uh, CC sequence actions. So it's actions. Okay. So the first action will be action one. The second will be action two. Action and third one will be action three, and then nil. Okay, now let's run, and it should work. So we have an iPhone simulator here. Okay, so first action, move to 200, 400, we won't. Okay, now the greatest coordinates. So 200 to 300 and minus 100. This should work iPhone screen is too small. It would work with the iPad, but not with the iPhone. So 200, 300. Now it goes 100 pixels down and right. Now it should fade. As you see, it changed color. Okay, pretty cool. <laughs> it works. Now what we can do, we can use a spawn action. Uh, in our case, spawn action won't work, so we'll need to create another action, which will be, I think the best one will be an effect action. It might be an effect or a rotate action or any action you want, but it can, it cannot be action like CC move by and CC, you can't combine actions like CC move by and CC move to. It won't work the same as anything cc anything by and cc anything to you cannot combine them together and you cannot use them with cc spawn action so let's in our case let's add an effect action uh there are a few effects like cc flip x 3d cc flip y 3d and a lot more uh, i will choose cc liquid action it kind of creates waves so i'm going to declare it ID action and if you want to run actions from another another uh, method 
right here you can only run it within this these two semi uh, br I mean brackets I don't remember what they're called but whatever if you want to run action within the whole class you will need to create it in that you will need to declare it in that X file so third action is CC liquid CC liquid liquid ah uh, action with waves five okay five wa waves 3.2 amp amplitude grid okay let's make it 15 14 and duration will be 10 okay let's come in this action CC move to won't work we can Comment. You can comment any of these two actions, CC move to or CC move by. You can move, use them separately, but you can't use them at the same time. And let's come with this Cocos run action line. So now we will create a CC sequence action. It is under composition actions in the documentations. I mean, CC spawn action. So it is pretty simple, but we will need to create another action. I, I will call it ID spawn spawn equal to oh excuse me cc spawn oh okay another spawn equal to cc spawn actions action 2 action 3 action 4 okay uh, comma nil okay now we can run this action cocos run action spawn okay and that's let's run it okay there's something wrong here okay we can it is grid supposed to be defined defined load and I'm not sure there's something wrong sending double parameter okay incompatible type of argument this is liquid okay let me check this code I'm gonna pa pause this video okay I'm back and I found my missed mistake uh, so my mistake was grid supposed to be defined in Coco's grid not the integer so basically what Coco's grid is See, it is CC grids, a grid size, but it's used as CCG. The first one is int x, and the second one is int y. So this kind of defines the size of the grid. Of a grid, and I'm gonna change this to 200 to 100. Now let's run. I hope it works. Okay, so you can see it works. We can see it moves it kind of simulates wave pretty cool I'm gonna change this coordinates and I'm gonna make I'm gonna remove the label sprite and I'm gonna change the scale of this cocoa sprite it is pretty simple cocos set scale and scales defined in float I will put it put 1.5 so it will be 1.5 times bigger, larger. So here it is, it's larger and you can see the effect. So you can see it's, it kind of looks like a wave. Not really realistic, but but it works. Uh, so another composition action. Oh yeah, another is a repeat action. So it is pretty simple. Okay, let's come back here. Let's comment these two lines of code. Let's come back to this one. So CC sequence. Okay. And let's comment action two. We will ah, uh, I mean action four. So how to repeat a CC sequence? It is really simple. We just need to define another ID here. Let's comment this line of code, and I will create an ID. I will call it a uh, repeat of 
Okay, so it is CC repeat action with with duration. Ah. Oh, okay, excuse me. Action with action. So in this case we have actions. So with action action one. Okay, comma action two. Third one will be action three. Comma nil. This simple. And times. So times it declares how many times you want to repeat it. And let's do it three times. I'm not sure if it will work with CC move two, so I'm gonna comment this line of code. And I'm gonna uncomment line four, action four, I'm gonna change this. Now let's run this action. Cocos run action repeat. Okay, now let's build and run. Ah, oh, I misspelled it. Too many arguments. CC action. Oh, action is with action. Let me check. I'm gonna pause this video. I have a limited amount of time. Okay, I found my mistake. So let's uncomment this line and I'm gonna add an ID to this sequence. ID and I'm gonna call it sequence. So and CC and we will repeat this sequence action. Sequence okay. It should work. Sequence something is wrong. Okay. Action four, not action one. We commented action one line. So it should work now. It should repeat three times. Okay, the first action is running. Our waves action, number four. Now our third action. And now it fades. Now it should repeat again. So it is repeating again. You can see it will repeat three times. And if you want it to repeat forever, there is another action, CC repeat forever. Okay, so you see, it goes on and on. I have three minutes, I mean two minutes left. I will try to do that, to fit it in three, min three minutes. It is pretty, it is really simple too. Just change this to repeat forever. Action, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and remove this times three line. And it is that simple. It should work. So now our actions will repeat forever. So this is it. So this is it for my Coco Studio actions tutorial. If you have any more suggestions for Coco Studio tutorial, please email me the link or, or PM me the link, uh, PM me names or what tutorials, just answer the question, what tutorials you want me to create, and I will try to make them. Okay, thanks for watching, for watching. goodbye, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, check out my SDK Tutorials Coco Studio app on the App Store, it's just $2.99, and it has 9 Coco Studio, uh, 9 Coco Studio tutorials for iPhone developers, it is really useful for beginners. Uh, thanks for watching, goodbye.